Ch- but chameleons can change their color, which is amazing. Uh, a few things can change their color. Chameleons do, but it's a lot of it is more for like mood related things oh, and stuff okay. like that. Like when they get stressed out, they get darker. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I and mean, they can change their color. But that's yeah, actually one of, of your other research interests, right? With polymorphism. I uh, yeah, I did do some of that, but that's more of like just colors not changing colors so the that study was on different color morphs of a species of rattlesnake which really isn't color polymorphism it's more of like uh i named it uh, discussed in an inappropriate way because it's more of their just different color forms Uh, because color polymorphism normally means that they're all in one spot but these guys were kind of separated in different locations yeah so it was i actually have the picture of the oh yeah the rattlesnake the rock rattlesnakes Ooh. Well, here's a map. Oh, that's the map. That's salamanders. That's more salamanders. It's there they guys. go. Yeah, so the, the guys in the, the white rattlesnake there lives in the east side of the range. This is in West Texas. And they oh. live on, like, limestone, so it's really light-colored. Oh. And so I put out foam model snakes to see if they would get attacked more frequently. And I put out also darker-colored ones, like that one on the, the right there that lived out in the west where they're on volcanic rocks, so they're darker. And so the ones that were... When you put out the light color morphs on the dark rocks, yeah. they get attacked more. And you put the dark colored rocks on the light colored rocks, they get attacked more. And that's probably why, or at least part of the reason why, that they yeah. have really different color morphs in those areas because they're on different rocks. Yeah. That's the same species. Same species. Yeah. Now, is it the same spool? This is, there's, someone should probably work on this because that's actually the same subspecies, which doesn't really, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things that a lot of people don't really agree with because it doesn't really mean that much. But. Technically, it's the same subspecies. Uh, so there's actually – this is Crotalus lepidus, the rock rattlesnakes. But there's also another species or subspecies that occurs further out that has different patterns and doesn't have this different color morphs, different subspecies. But they're all – yeah. Mm. Someone should work on this group because yeah. there's definitely confusion in terms of like what species – what which ones are should be species or are, not. So are snakes racist too, just like people? Uh, <laughs> no, I think it's more – no, I don't think so. I think they'd be fine. They'd see they're really comfortable together. Oh yeah, they yeah. They like, like each other. They really just don't like being attacked by hawks from the oh, sky okay. and see them. Yeah, that's yeah, really all they really true. care about. Yeah. They're really hard to they blend in really well, so they do they're doing a good job. Yeah. They're, they're, good job, Snake. And, they, and yeah. they they have they, they used to be lizards before they lost their little snubby things. Um snakes. I mean, yeah. they're all kind of descendant from a common ancestor and yeah. you know some have i mean there's lizards that have no legs yeah um oh. there's no snakes obviously that have legs that wouldn't oh. make any sense but there are lizards with no yeah. legs yeah. and there are lizards with really small legs yeah. and for different Ooh. sort of activities yeah. better than others isn't there a snake that kind of glides yes there's probably multiple actually but... everything Think about it. Everything, uh, almost every other animal, develops some kind of flying yeah. ability. There's lizards that do it. There was a group down in Virginia Tech when I was just down there. Um, one of the grad students, Michelle, was working on looking at the biomechanics of gliding. So they had like different. They yeah. would literally let them glide between different yeah. posts to look at the mechanisms yeah. behind that. So it's yeah. pretty interesting. But Which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah, they're very crazy. It, it, like how many like animals on Earth just oh we're gonna yeah. start flying? Yeah. I mean, they don't fly, wow. but they, or they, glide. They glide. Or, yeah. yeah. But I, you know, I say you give them a couple more million years. That would be a flying uh, reptile. Oh, am I oh. forgetting any flying reptiles? That oh. I don't think there are any. Ooh. Think of. You, oh, you've never seen a Quetzalcoatlicus, have you? I don't know what that is. What is that? That is a winged serpent. Is that a mythical being? They Some say it's mythical. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I guess I think uh, Loretta would know all about that. It's, yeah, the Aztecs. Oh, and it's okay, Quetzalcoatlicus. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, mm. feathered serpent. But hey, you know. Yeah.